Ferdinand Emmanuel Negralin Marcos Sr. was born on September 11, 1917 in Sarat, Ilocos Norte, Philippines. He died on September 28, 1989 at the age of 72 in Honolulu, Hawaii, United States. He was the oldest son of Mariano Marcos and Josefa Edraline Marcos. His wife is Emelda Marcos who became famous as the first lady of the Philippines. They had four children named Maria Imelda Marcos, Ferdinand Marcos Jr., Irene Marcos Araneta, and Aimee Marcos. Ferdinand Marcos went to school in Manila and later attended law school at the University of the Philippines. His father, Mariano Marcos, was a Filipino politician and on September 20, 1935, the day after Julio Nalundasan defeated Mariano Marcos for a seat in the National Assembly, Nalundasan was shot and killed in his home. Ferdinand, Mariano, and Ferdinand's brother and brother-in-law were tried for the assassination. Ferdinand and his brother-in-law were found guilty of the murder. Ferdinand argued their case and appealed to the Philippine Supreme Court and won acquittal a year later. Remarkably, while Marcos was preparing his case, he was studying for the bar exam and became a trial lawyer in Manila. At the end of the war, when the American government granted the Philippines independence on July 4, 1946, the Philippine Congress was created. Marcos ran and was twice elected as representative to his district and served from 1949 to 1959. In 1959, Marcos took a seat in the Philippine Senate a position he would hold until he ran for and won the presidency in 1965. After failing to obtain the Liberal Party's nomination for president, Ferdinand Marcos ran as the Nationalist Party candidate. Marcos got elected as the 10th president of the Philippine history. After he was elected as the president, he began rebuilding the Philippines. He built the famous infrastructures such as Cultural Center of the Philippines, Philippine International Convention Center, Philippine General Hospital, Philippine Heart Center, Philippine King Institute, Young Center of the Philippines, San Juanico Bridge, and Lakes and Build Hospitals, Schools, Roads, and Bridges that all presidents combined. Philippines became famous as the Asia's richest country. During his regime, Philippines became self-sufficient in rice, Philippine exports 7 million worth of rice, current exchange rate 2 pesos is equivalent to 1 dollar. Philippines' economy began increasing. Marcos declared martial law in 1972 when militants unraveled in prison and fighting against his rulings. Marcos' later years in power were made by widespread government corruption, which turned out to be the central legacy of his regime. Economic stagnation, a widening economic gap between rich and poor, and the growth of the communist guerrilla uprising. By the early 1980s, change was coming to the Philippines. To this end, on August 21, 1983, Benigno Aquino Jr. returned from his long exile to offer the Philippine people a new face of hope. Unfortunately, he was shot dead by his military escort as he stepped off the plane in Manila. The assassination was seen as the work of the government and ignited massive countrywide protests. An independent commission appointed by Marcos concluded a year later that high military officers were responsible for Aquino's assassination, although it has since been suggested that Marcos or even his wife had allegedly ordered that killing. Also, contributing to Marcos' downfall was the resolution signed in 1985 by 56 assemblymen calling for his impeachment to allegedly diverting United States aid to his personal coffers. To quiet the opposition and reassert his position of power, Marcos called for presidential election to be held in 1986. Corazon Aquino, the widow of Benigno Aquino, emerged as a formidable opponent and became the presidential candidate of the opposition. Marcos, however, managed to defeat Aquino and retain the presidency.
but it was quickly revealed that his victory was only ensured through massive voting fraud carried out by his supporters. As word spread of the rigid election, Marcos was discredited at home and abroad, and a tense standout ensued between his supporters and those of Corazon Aquino. With his self failing and support for his regime fading fast, on February 25, 1986, with the United States urging him on, Ferdinand Marcos went into exile in Hawaii. Evidence was later uncovered showing that Marcos, his family, and his associates has embezzled billions of dollars from the Philippine economy through various corrupt practices. The U.S. government subsequently indicted Marcos and his wife on racketeering charges. But Ferdinand died in 1989, and Imelda was acquitted of all charges and was allowed to return to the Philippines the following year.